Okay, the reason why I chose this song is because uh, it's kind of like the song that at least most people outside Ghana would be familiar with. Hence Beyonce's, you know, elements is in there. We'd want to say, yeah, Shine already. And they're already in the studio. We've been waiting for them for so long, but they are here finally. <laughs> Good to have you guys. Welcome. Thanks. Thanks for having, Thank us. Yeah, mm, for having mm. us. Is this your first time in Ghana? Yeah. yeah. Yes. First time. Right, right. First of all, let me start with your names. I, I, I heard the names, okay, but of course, everybody... Uh, gets to pronounce it the way it's supposed to, not the way I want to. So I, so I know of Yusuf. That's yeah, you. Yusuf Salahuddin. Salahuddin. Yeah. Salahuddin. Yes. I need a lot of breath to do that. <laughs> <laughs> and I know of uh, you. Um, yeah, I'm Sergey. Sergey. Yeah. yeah. Sergey. For doing last names as well. I'm Sergey Shannon. Sergey Shannon. Yeah. Okay. And uh, my name is Justus. Justus. Yes. Okay. If if I'm so if I'm supposed to go back phonetically, I'd say justice, but no, justice. Yes, it's just but it's it, it's the Latin word for justice. Okay, uh, okay, uh, that's it. And the lady, I'm Faye. I'm sorry, I didn't start with you. They say ladies first. <laughs> I, I'm sorry. Should I go back again? <laughs> you, you, should I go back? All right, ladies first. Let me start with you. <laughs> My name is Faye. <laughs> Faye. Faye. Last name. Van Lusten. Faye Van Lusten. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then Justus. Yes, and my last name is quite long, but it's Van Nispe tot Zevenaar. Uh, is that the last name? Yeah. <laughs> right, let's let's stick to Justus. <laughs> That's fine. Yeah, but... uh, and Sergey and Yusef Salahadi. Mm -hmm. Okay. You oh, you're about... getting better with pronunciation. Eh? That's not about the pronunciation, but it's about the fact that um, I, I'm a bit familiar with the Arabic. Ah. Because, yeah. yeah. I read the Quran most of the time. Oh, okay. So, yeah. Yeah. Salah is something I can mention. Yeah. But it's good to have you guys in Ghana. I came all the way from the Netherlands. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yes. we were even talking about, uh, you know, land and how you can, you know, push to see backwards and get some land. Is that something very familiar to the Netherlands? Yeah, right? For sure. yeah. I think it, it is like yeah. the trademark of the Netherlands. Yeah, I would say. Exactly. Yeah. Right? Yeah. 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 I mean, the yeah. land is not that big, so we need to just push it backwards yeah. and get more. It's something yeah. that's very unique yeah. and interesting. I was telling my producer that, yo, it is what it is in the Netherlands. Why the French would call it Peiba? You know, mm -hmm. just get it. Say again, mm -hmm. you sound like, huh? Yeah, yeah. I haven't been there before. Uh, no, I haven't, <laughs> thanks, I haven't heard of thanks the Thanks to YouTube before, yeah. and, and, and literally. <laughs> but but um, you guys came all the way from the Netherlands to Ghana. First of all, well, even in recent times, Ghana has been the destination for tourists. You know, I mean, our diaspora brothers and sisters in the UK, US and all of that. Why did you choose Ghana? I mean, you're in fi final year, mm -hmm. medical yeah. school. Which medical school, by the way? Uh, University of Utrecht. Okay. Yeah. Right. You chose Ghana to do research. Uh, no, more medical internship. Medical internship. Yeah. Practical. 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 Yeah, Practical. At the emergency department. The question is why Ghana? Really so who's going? That, that's Sergei? a good question. Yeah. Who started? <laughs> yeah. Who started? Eustace? Well, well, we sort of started out, uh, Sergey and me, at least to search to yeah go abroad because you either can do your internship in the Netherlands mm -hmm. or you can go abroad, and we thought like. Uh, let's go uh, abroad. Mm. And uh, yeah, we wanted not to do that in Europe, but okay. go uh, across the, 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 okay. the other borders. Mm -hmm. um, and we looked at several countries, but we uh, also were looking into uh, uh, yeah, Tanzania maybe okay. and Ghana. And But Ghana mostly came up our, uh, on our list when we were in this uh, uh, night where they where other students who went on an, went away on an internship uh, talk about our experiences and mm -hmm. one there was a girl who talked about ghana mm -hmm. uh, and we're like oh that sounds really fun mm -hmm. and uh, really amazing and mm -hmm. she showed pictures and said like she had an amazing time in the hospital mm -hmm. uh, and the supervisors were great and then we started thinking oh maybe ghana is a really good option to go to also right. because our yeah. university wants to start a exchange program ah. with this uh, hospital, the uh, Greater Accra Regional Hospital. Okay, that's the rich hospital. Yeah, so mm. the rich right. hospital. Right. Mm. And uh, that's also how we saw Yusuf. Uh, okay. That, uh, and Yusuf was like, hey, can we go with three of us? He's like, yeah, of course. Wow. And then uh, we... Uh, <laughs> and Faye came in. Like, Faye. Uh, yeah. Faye should also I, come. Yeah. yeah. I had a little bit of study delay, so I was supposed to go to like... Uh, um, South America. Okay. And then just as I was a little bit like, oh, I don't want to study anymore. You don't want to study anymore. Or like, I want to take a little break. break okay. And then just was like, oh, come to us with, uh, to Ghana. Mm. So well, for me, it was kind of just a Tuesday morning. I just wrote my application. Wow. <laughs> and I decided it mm. very quickly. But mm. I'm very happy with 
that again. So how has been, for how long have you been here so far? Six weeks. Yeah, six weeks. In total, six, weeks. six and a half weeks. So, yeah. 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 Six, so yeah. how's it been? Sergey, let me go see you. How yeah, it's it really been? nice. Really nice. Mm, yeah. When you say nice, what define nice? Um, Everybody can say nice because of course, yeah, I'm yeah. sitting in front of a Ghanaian. I'm not saying nice. <laughs> but uh, yeah. Uh, how should I explain this? It it met our expectations for sure. Mm. It exceeded our expectations yeah. maybe. Mm. Um, in all sense, I think. Okay. In the hospital. Mm-hmm. Uh, we were welcomed with open arms. Really nice. Right. Really nice people as well. Mm. Uh, food-wise, culture-wise. Mm-hmm. Um, a lot of things to do so it was mm. a really really nice time. interesting you mentioned culture food and all of that yeah. let me just go back a bit you look a bit uh uh you know ni hao <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah i got it i got it <laughs> yeah i've had that multiple times yeah exactly. so are you originally from the netherlands or uh no i'm not race? i'm not that's right. that's good that you mentioned that mm. um i actually grew up in suriname that's suriname, a, okay that was a colony of the netherlands in mm-hmm. the past um, and for studies, I went to the Netherlands. I okay. lived there for four years now, and then mm. yeah, from there on out, I came okay. here for an internship. Okay. Yeah. So you had a you have a bit of a Chinese blood in you. Exactly. Suriname. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, let's go a bit of Indonesia. Yes. Indonesia. That as well. You have a good eye. Great. Uh, great. Great. So I'm actually half Chinese, mm-hmm. a quarter Indonesian. A quarter. A, well, I, I love the way you measure. You know, it's quite interesting yeah, it's really how weird, but they it, give yeah, you the yeah. measurement. <laughs> I'm half Chinese, quarter. A, Full stop. Qu- <laughs> Good. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Very, very so accurate. I'm, I'm a mix of a whole lot of, mm, of things. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, and I was also have uh, some ancestors that were uh, Afro Surinamese. Okay. Uh, okay. So yeah, so a bi- mixture of everything. I mean, Africa, we're everywhere. Man. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Get, That's the nice other. part. Salam alaikum. Wa alaikum salam. Super, super. Yusuf. Mm. Uh, Yusuf. Maybe in this part we will say Yusuf. Yeah. Is I've, that it? I've heard Yusuf here in, in Ghana. In I've Ghana, heard Yusuf. Yusuf as well. Yeah, a lot. Yusuf. Yeah. yeah. Yes, and that's uh, uh, when we go to the, 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 the Bible, we say Joseph. That's Yeah, so often it's either Joseph, Yusuf or Yusuf. Joseph, oh, what Joseph. they call me. Yeah. So I had a dream last night. Joseph is known for the guy who interprets dreams. Interprets dream, dreams, right? yeah. I had yeah. a dream that I met you and you gave me a big bowl of water. What does that mean? What does that mean? <laughs> Unfortunately, <laughs> I'm not used to interpreting dreams, so I couldn't way. tell you. That is just by the way. <laughs> but I mean... You just met your friends and you know what? I want to go along with them. Yeah. So I was, um, to explain, I was looking myself also for an internship abroad. Mm -hmm. I was first thinking about maybe a country in the Middle East. So I was looking around over there. Um, uh, But unfortunately, it didn't go through. Mm -hmm. So I had like a few months left and I was like, okay, I don't want to do it in a European or Western country Mm -hmm. because I wanted to experience a different culture, Mm -hmm. uh, different uh, work ethics. Right. So then I was looking at if Middle East is mm. not an option, then I'll try Africa. Okay. Uh, myself, I have uh, Algerian roots. Okay. So, uh, okay. From Algeria. Mm. Um, so Northern Africa is basically something that I know Riyad and I'm comfortable with. in the building. Exactly. Riyad exactly. Is in the building. Exactly. Okay. <laughs> you know. Okay. So um, then I was looking at other countries as well, and mm. I was thinking. Western Africa is nice, but most countries speak French. People speak French. Yeah. Um, but Algeria is a French-speaking country. Well. Yeah, yeah. But my French is... Uh, yeah. okay. it's, 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 uh, uh, exactly. Okay, so that's fine. That's the way uh, it goes. But mm. then I went to the same evening that they went, the okay. open evening where they were talking. Mm-hmm. And then, um, as they said, I was looking at East Africa, like Tanzania, Kenya, mm-hmm. those countries. Mm-hmm. And then when they mentioned Ghana, mm. I kind of had the same reaction. Okay. And then when I found out that they were... Uh, thinking about going together, then I was like, okay, well, let me let me join. Let me ride along, I guess. Okay. Yeah, exactly. So that's I guess how it went. But before you came to, to this is your, is this your first official trip to Africa as a continent? No, for me it you, is. Uh, for you it is. For me it is. Uh, Eustace? No, for me. Uh, You've been uh, to Africa. Yeah. Which country? Tanzania. Tanzania. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. What about you, Faye? Uh, Tunisia. And, Tunisia. Uh, Uganda. Tunisia and Uganda. Okay. So, what what were the narratives? that you've heard you know concerning africa yeah. i mean yeah. one of the things why africa global radio is here first of all let me just give you premises the the, na- the narratives are so negative mm-hmm. you hear africa and you hear some boy with the uh, big belly and the fly just and he's hungry looking for for meal but it, it goes beyond that you're of course origin from algeria one of the developed mm-hmm. countries in africa talk about egypt credible civilization pyramids and all of that you know you talk about ghana i don't know when they mentioned ghana what what did you think of have you heard about the name before yeah Um, so what rang a bell what okay for me personally i came here with an entire pharmacy of like imodium or like anti-diarrhea because i thought the food would make me sick 
Ah. Uh, so I, I think that were kind of my pre prejudices. Okay. But then also, okay. I thought of a happy country, you know, with uh -huh. happy people or like friendly people, a lot of dancing. Mm -hmm. So it was kind of like 50-50 of... Mm. But I re didn't really like Uganda mm, because I, I don't think I was very open for a new experience at the time. Okay. So okay. I, I was a little bit hesitant about mm. coming to Ghana, mm. but then now I'm here and I'm so happy that it experience came because I, I, I want to stay. <laughs> you want to stay? We can have that conversation. <laughs> yeah. I, I'm good at it. <laughs> what about you, Yotis? Yeah, so uh, for me, it's I, I had a friend who uh, went to Ghana uh, mm -hmm. or uh, like a family friend. And uh, so she told me already before about Ghana and mm -hmm. uh, um, she had a nice time. She mm -hmm. even came back this summer uh, again and mm -hmm. she wants to come back another summer right. uh, next year. Mm -hmm. But uh, for me, the I think the first thing that came into my mind was like uh, Ghana is known for being the safest country on the continent. Wow. Um, I, I think we should give ourselves a round. <laughs> yeah. Like, Maybe where you at? Uh, you deserve one. <laughs> So, yeah. So uh, whereas uh, I remember when and when I went to Tanzania mm -hmm. four or five years ago, but when I told my parents for the first uh, to like, hey, I really want to go to Tanzania because right. uh, mm. it was also a medical internship. Mm. My parents were like, oh, are you sure it's safe? And where do you sleep? And where do you stay? Mm. Whereas when I told them about Ghana, they were like, oh, have uh, fun. Uh, mm. um, indeed. Fun. Take some, uh, yeah, anti diarrhea, as I was made for just the first, case. For, for, just in case. Just in case. But you know, for us to uh, have a good time. So mm. I feel that, yeah, uh, All right. it was a different mindset. Okay. Uh, Sergey, yeah. you're the new guy. Yeah, I am. Mm. But yeah, uh, yeah, I've heard a lot about West Africa, of course, because mm -hmm. in Suriname there are a lot of African people. African as, people. As, uh, yeah, okay. true. And also a lot of uh, mixtures of cultures. Mm. We listen to a lot of mixture of music, mm. a lot of Caribbean music, soca. Mm -hmm. uh, the, the last couple of years, we've listened to also a lot of Afro pop and Afro music. Mm -hmm. So I've heard a lot of the the pop culture here, mm. the pop culture in Ghana and Nigeria. Mm -hmm. Um, so I also listen to a lot of Afro, okay. on piano. I'm, okay. Exactly. Okay. Exactly. So mm. that that's something that influenced me as well ah. into choosing Ghana. Okay. Into, uh, making the choice to go to Ghana. You seem to so, be a yeah. music lover. I am. You I love am. music. I do. So who are, who have you identified <laughs> so far as your favorite Ghanaian artist? Ooh, uh, that's, that's a really good question. I've heard because I know that for Afro pop there's a lot of Nigerians. Mm -hmm. um, but I think for Ghana, mm. I like King Promise a lot. Okay. <laughs> yeah. The yeah. Terminator is in the exactly, building. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. And I've also recently good. seen the the joke on TikTok. I think from uh, oh. Abena. Call me later. Okay. Exactly. Ah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's, okay. a, that's one of the nicest jokes. Good yeah, one, yeah. Really. We were even talking about it earlier. Ah, nice. Abana, call me later. Exactly, exactly. Interesting way to, to change the song, <laughs> to own it. Exactly. Regardless. But yeah, I love that joke. Uh, you, since you came, and one of the conversations or discourse is about uh, health uh, care delivery. Mm -hmm. You know, um, it, it, it's a fact. The, the Western world, Netherlands, Europe, mm -hmm. I mean, Italy, Spain, wherever you, you name it, it Western Europe, uh, see, advanced medicine, definitely there, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But when you came here, what, what was the expectation? Was it going to be like, uh, we're going to handle it. It, it? it might not be that easy, you know, but you came here. What was your first impression when you got to Ridge Hospital? Yeah. Oh. Well, I guess it starts, of course, with what your expectations are. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. um, and for me, especially like the country of Ghana, I, I'd like it's probably it might be the same as Algeria. Like you have poverty, but you also have a lot of rich people. Like right, there's right. I mean, yeah, it's, it's diverse. It's yeah, diverse and, yeah. and you have a lot uh, a big group in between, of course. True. Mm. Um, and in that sense, the hospitals probably have facilities mm. to treat the people that have the money. Mm -hmm. But there are also a lot of people without money. So mm -hmm. um, uh, I went, I think, with the idea of uh, coming here to learn mm. from the uh, medical doctors here how they um, treat patients or diagnose patients mm. using sometimes limited resources. Uh, resources. Yeah. Right. Um, so I think I went with that idea. Mm -hmm. And to be fair, when I arrived at Rich Hospital, mm -hmm. the it exceeded my expectation in the wow. sense that it was quite modern. Uh -huh. um, they had like CT scans of like everything wow. that most of the mm. uh, what you see in other countries. Mm -hmm. Like when I compare it for myself, like with an Algerian hospital, mm -hmm. um, like it could be the same or even the rich hospitals, I think better than the average hospital in Algeria. Wow. 
Wow. So they have like a lot of facilities mm. and also um, a lot of good doctors, right. I, say, I would yeah. say. Like, good. Yeah, yeah we, I think uh, I can speak for all four of us that we've learned a lot from them. Wow. Mm-hmm. But this is what we said. They're very open. They love yeah. to teach as well. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and they're so knowledgeable. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. So. Yeah. Okay. So, okay. Yes. What can you say about that one? Uh, like, I totally agree with everything that Yusuf has mm. said. But it's also not fair to compare uh, the Netherlands, mm-hmm. which is a developed country Absolutely. for many centuries Absolutely. and also has one of the best healthcare systems in, mm. in the whole of Europe, mm. to uh, the healthcare system in here. Ghana. Mm. So it's also uh, really good. Um, um, but indeed, we've learned a lot. Mm. Um, also, when I arrived at the hospital, it's a totally modern hospital with all the facilities, mm-hmm. um, everything there that you need is, is there. Mm-hmm. Uh, but the only factor that uh, helps or uh, holds people yeah, ag- against or which holds them back yeah. exactly yeah. Mm. Uh, is yeah the the money people can provide to mm. pay for the healthcare. Mm. So that's the only mm. limiting factor mm. here. Is this a similar situation in other parts of the world that you've been? I mean, monetary mm. issue is, yeah. isn't yeah. one of the reasons yeah, why sure. people cannot really yeah. access yeah. quality health care yeah. yeah no mm-hmm. for like, sure it's a problem in a lot yeah. of countries mm-hmm. but we're lucky to live in a country where yeah. everyone has health insurance so mm. you never yeah have to hold yeah. back with any necessary medical treatment right so right that's and I, yeah. that's also for us so uh good to learn that you actually have conversations about okay to what extent can we give you what treatment mm-hmm, mm-hmm. and which what we talked about earlier uh, with the resource we can get right. okay how, how we're gonna mm-hmm. help manage. you as manage as uh, uh yeah as best as possible right, right. um instead indeed in the netherlands you mm-hmm. know you can use any resource mm-hmm. because it's all paid by the government mm-hmm. Uh, mm-hmm. in that sense right um so so it's a different conver- conversation mm-hmm. and I think what also for us, uh, if I speak for the four of us, uh, uh, is is really good to see is that uh, in the Netherlands, right, there's a lot of treatment on prevention. Mm-hmm. So you don't see a lot of complications of diabetes or mm-hmm. stroke mm-hmm. Um, uh, because yeah, hyper, uh, like high blood pressure is mm-hmm. one of the uh, big factors for that. And mm-hmm. uh, in the Netherlands, they really try to control that really uh, uh, yeah, really well. Okay. Uh, and here you see more uh, unregulated high blood pressures. Okay. And therefore you see more cases of uh, the the complications which come with the high blood pressures mm. and uh, the same mm. accounts for diabetes. Okay. And those are very frequent uh, things you you normally should see, but then we don't see them anymore mm. really. Mm. So for us, it's also really good exposure wow. for oh, this is actually what it looks like. Mm. This is actually uh, how you maybe need to treat it. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, Great. so in that way, it's also different, uh, kind of disease, also like malaria, mm. Uh, mm. which we will never see in the Netherlands, but it's really good to know. Mm. Uh, never say never. Yeah, never say never, yeah. <laughs> especially with climate change. <laughs> right, right, uh, right. Yeah. Faye, you, you, which year were you in Tunisia and Uganda? Oh my God. Uh, Tunisia, I think it's like 2014 or something. Oh, okay. And uh, Uganda, 2000. 18 or 19 okay so like mm. four years ago mm. and that was also on the journey for a uh, medical journey and all of that no 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 that was just on a family vacation oh family right? vacation mm. okay so and it was I, different I, they had to take in precautionary measures not to you know diarrhea and all of that <laughs> I need to but i must say like in uganda i actually suffered from it or like ah. you know vomiting mm. oh okay water thin diarrhea yeah. like so uh, okay. That's why I brought it here. Mm. Traumatized. Here, actually, like, yeah, I'm experience, been fine. like yeah. I'm eating street food, you mm. know, I brush my teeth mm. with the water from the tap. Yeah. I, like, yeah. Yeah. Uh, I'm fine. <laughs> have you have you been to uh, Accra is of course the capital city, the largest, most developed. Mm-hmm. Have you been to any other uh parts of Ghana? For sure. Yeah. Mm. Like mm. we've been to Aksim in the Aksim. Aksim. Mm. Yo, uh, no, Western region minister. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. yeah. Aksim. Mm-hmm. What do you like about Aksim? I mean, for all rainforests, uh, what well, rainfall highest mm. in Ghana. That's yeah, that is we where know. we record the highest yeah. rainfall. But yeah. well, for us there was no rainfall. No, we can yeah. really, yeah. You know. <laughs> yeah, that but was what, very good. What was fun about Aksim? Uh, well, we actually haven't been in Axi. <laughs> no, yeah, okay. So. Did you pass Axi? Yeah, we yeah, passed we were, Axi. Yeah, no, we passed. Yeah. It was really close by. We went to Angkor yeah, Beach. Ankobra. Ah, Angkor Beach. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Wow. Wow. Where, where? Where else? Well, I think 
Cape Coast. Yeah, Cape Coast. Yeah. Coast. Yeah. yeah, Willy Water. So the castle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. went to the castle. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the castle. yeah. Mm-hmm. Amina yeah. and Cape Coast castle. Mm-hmm. Uh, and uh, well, yeah, to Willy Waterfalls. Yeah, so to the uh, northern Willy region. Waterfall. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that was beautiful. Volta region. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Volta yeah. region as well. Yeah. Uh huh. Yeah. 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 Okay. Mm-hmm. And Shy Hills. Shy Hills. Shy Hills. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You guys seem to be assimilating well. <laughs> I'm impressed. I still have to go there. So yeah. you still want to go there? Yeah. Wow. Well, when are you leaving? Well, I'm leaving in two weeks. In two so weeks. Tomorrow, I'm going to Cape Coast. There is more time. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Cape Coast people will come. So, have you started learning anything about the language? We have multiple languages, yeah, but the dominant course. one is the Akan language, where we say Akwaba. Mm-hmm. Yeah? Akwaba. Yeah. Akwaba. Welcome. Welcome, yes, exactly. <laughs> is that the only one you've learned? No, no. I'm not for sure, because, yeah, we work in the hospital, this week, so we have a lot of patient exposure, mm. a lot of language exposure mm. as well. Mm. So I think for the five, six weeks we've mm-hmm. been here, we've learned quite a lot. I okay. Think. He's yeah. the expert. How about, no, that's not true. yeah, something, something needs to keep us alive, yeah. and that is food. Yeah, uh, Ghana. Yes. I, I don't know if you've heard about the, the, the battle or the war between Ghana and Nigeria. Sergey, you've heard about that one. We've heard about it so, for sure. Yeah. Which I think would maybe push you or make you anxious about. Let me taste the Ghanaian jello. You got that? Have you tried it? Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, we yeah, have yeah. for sure. Yeah. Really? Yeah, I think times. it's a weekly okay. meal of yeah. ours. Yeah. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Mm-hmm. How about the, the, the almighty Wache? Yes, yeah, of course, that as well. The watch it. Yeah. yeah. And the water, yeah. the shito. Ah, That's the shito we've missed, no. missed that. You missed that? We've missed that one. Yeah, you yeah. should get it. But we yeah. did eat gobe. Yeah. Oh, and good. Like Welcome, to army. Army. <laughs> Welcome to the army. Welcome to the army. It's yeah. the best. Yeah. Ah, mm. yeah. uh, but, but these are, uh, what you, the ingredients are not yeah. no. stuff you're not coming around. Uh, mm. right? It's great. It's great. We have a debate between ourselves. Which one is better? It's either kenke or fufu. You uh, fried kenke? Yeah. No, I and prefer kenke. But we, yeah, but, mm. No, the discussion was go bear or fufu, no? <laughs> no, she no. likes kenke more than fufu. Oh, okay. but, so we disagree, but yeah. whatever. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Fufu are so better. Yeah. In- interesting. What, if, if there was a superhero name, what would we have given to them? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Like, where would they have been? It would have been the Justice League or the Marvels? <laughs> I'm wondering, Just... you know? Yeah, but it's, it's good to know that, I mean... Um, regardless of uh world geopolitical conversation i mean everybody's looking to better their state the, the what do you call their country i mean covid came into the sea and it was like you know stay at your end and people are just trying to get back on their feet mm. and there's the perception that you know africa was just going to be the graveyard of the world unfortunately for us we were able to manage issues and all that but when covid came mm-hmm. I, i'm sure you've heard news about the possibilities of the the issues that could happen in africa you know Mm -hmm. and afterwards we we still have COVID. it's just that it's not gone 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 but at least we're able to move around and everything Mm -hmm. right and and people are still uh moving to ghana and having the 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 feel that you know we can actually travel to a con to a country in 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 africa and you know have our medical um research our, our internship and all of those things is really heartwarming to know that mm-hmm. you know and we had something a, a policy by the government you know there's a year of return mm-hmm. that was 400 mm-hmm. years after the whole slavery mm-hmm. uh thing you know came to a halt right so after that there was a policy everybody had to come back home mm-hmm. you know so it brought a whole a, a number of tourists mm-hmm. a number of you know uh our brothers and sisters in the diaspora for the first time in history they wanted to come back home Mm-hmm. So it's 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 interesting to see that even on aside the fact that you want to go back and identify or trace your ancestry, mm-hmm. you're thinking of what can I also benefit from Ghana yeah. as 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 medical students, mm-hmm. and that's exactly what you people did and decided to embark upon that journey. That's quite laudable, and and more grease to the elbow. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 more yeah. grease to the elbow. Mm-hmm. So so what's next after two weeks? You're flying out. Are you looking to come back or? Well, I, yeah, I really hope so. I mean, we already thought. I wish we could stay here for longer. Mm. Uh, but I have an internship which starts in two weeks in the Netherlands. Ah, uh, okay. For three months. But uh, yeah, and I hope mm-hmm. uh, to come back uh, quickly after mm-hmm. that. Okay. Uh, because yeah, the the people have been amazing. The mm. colleagues have been amazing. The okay. Supervisors, yeah, they're. Yeah, and it's just so um, 
such a beautiful country and, and wow. easy to roam around. Yeah. Great, great. Yeah. Especially the people are yeah. very beautiful. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Very honest people, yeah. I would very say. Honest. Yeah. People. Very honest yeah. people. Yeah. Open. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, it, it, which day were you born, Yusef? Mm. Uh, I'm Kojo. Ah, yeah. He knows already. Yeah. <laughs> He's, he knows. Six weeks, huh? Kojo. Yeah. What about you, Sergei? I'm crazy. Kwesi. Kwabana. Kwabana. Ama. Ama. So, Kojo, which day? I want to know the oh, day. Oh, Monday. Monday. Uh, Sunday. Sunday. Tuesday. Tuesday. Saturday. So, Saturday? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Just like me. Ah. So, the male version of yours would be Kwame. Ah, Kwame. Yes. But I like Ama because it's simple. Like, I cannot remember there, but yeah, I but can Ama. remember Ama. AMA. <laughs> you spell it from, from the beginning, it's Ama. From... I'm... Oh, gosh. She oh. even had... Oh, boy, oh, boy. Yeah, registered. <laughs> I think you need to swear now for Davis to just change the name on the passport and add Ama to it. <laughs> but it's good to have you people. It's, yeah. it's interesting. I mean, we're looking forward. To, yeah, are we going to the Netherlands next time? PB. Mm. Come visit us. We can drive there. Have you heard about those guys that yeah, drive, drove drive all the way there. from Accra from, from, to the UK? Yeah. Yeah. So we're looking to do say, similar. PB. Oh, yeah. More than welcome. Yeah. We can drive all the way to the Netherlands. Yeah. yeah? Let us know. I think it would be a hell of a nice trip. Mm. Yeah. It would be. Can we be. join? <laughs> you can join if we have more space. <laughs> but I mean, final word to any other uh, medical students that would, would, or any person at all that's looking to explore, um, what do you call it, the, the line of work, right? Professional career and all of that. Mm-hmm. What, what would you tell them? Let me start with you, sir. I would tell them uh, to just take a chance, just uh, go. Don't listen to too many people. People can tell you all kinds of stories. Mm-hmm. Um, especially about Africa. Especially about Africa. Mm. Um, you can ask people for advice that have been there and right. ask about the stories, but eventually you have to go for yourself and, s- and figure out yourself absolutely. how it is. Yeah. Honesty. Mm. <laughs> this is Joseph speaking <laughs> in the spirit. Sergey. That's a really good question. Um, I'd say, uh, yeah, Ghana has been really good. Mm-hmm. Um, I'd say you should for sure visit Ghana once, even mm-hmm. if it's for tourism, um, even better for an internship because you learn a lot. Mm-hmm. There's a lot of people that know a lot. The people are nice. Mm. So, yeah, okay. I advise it to come. Eustace. Yeah, I think uh, you should definitely go and experience for yourself because, mm-hmm. again, it just broadens your horizon medically, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. but it definitely broadens your horizon as a person. True. Uh, and I think we learn so much from the people around us right. uh, and we take that back mm. to the Netherlands in our own working mm. environment mm. Uh, which I think we all will uh, benefit. Adapt a bit. Absolutely. Yeah, exactly. So many benefits. Mm. Uh, so yeah, I would just go. Just go. Ama Fe. <laughs> yeah, Ama Fe. Ama Fe really recommends Ghana as a, like mm. a country to do an internship because like it's, it's very easy. Um, mm-hmm to fit in here people are very honest oh. like what they mm-hmm. told us mm-hmm. and very friendly and also they speak english yeah like if you've never been to africa i think uh, first step is ghana okay because yeah. i mean we already have the title name as the gateway to africa mm-hmm. so yeah you want to get to africa yeah. go through the gateway but before we get fi- finally and this is quite interesting because hey it, it's not g- merry grosy all good and all of that yeah. there, could, there might be some you know you know what i think that could be better if you had the power let me start with you faye to improve, you know, a certain situation in Ghana, what would it be? Like, you've been all the way to Aximo, Cape Coast, <laughs> <laughs> Shy Hills, roads, no. roads, <laughs> like roads. Okay. And also, just like I think the the contradictions is in black, black and white. I think mm-hmm. that's kind of a big thing because when we walk the streets, mm-hmm. it's like a Bruni, a uh, Bruni, yeah. mm-hmm. or like it's mm-hmm. all the time, and I think. Yeah, we're also just like, we're all humans, the same, we're you know? Humans, so, yeah. Uh, I, Don't see the color. Yeah. See the just being. Just look beyond it. So ah. uh, that's also something that, but it's not not easy to improve, right? Mm, mm. Um, it's just about the mentality. You just need to change the mindset. Yeah. And but, then and money, like facilities for the medical okay. like, medical treatment. That, okay. Because for me, it was has been the toughest. I think that people have to actually pay before they can get something and mm. then they cannot pay it. Like mm. people that break their leg and... Mm-hmm. They just go home with a broken leg mm. because they cannot afford a uh, surgery. Something like, should be done about that. Yeah. Amazing. I love Sorry. what you just yeah. said. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> Justus, what about you? Yeah, I, I was thinking indeed more into the it, trying to see if you can make it work with insurance wise. Mm-hmm. Uh, so that indeed it doesn't matter where, where you're poor or rich. Mm-hmm. Uh, you will still be able to have the same Access, treatment as okay. everyone, el- mm. uh, everyone else. Mm. Mm. Um, 
so I guess that's more on the on the uh, social uh, um, uh, impact level. Okay. And more practical. Yeah, I don't know. I I want to say maybe time, but I like uh, we say like ah, eight o'clock in eight in time, so that can be eight thirty or <laughs> nine o'clock. Time. <laughs> yeah. like but no, the, so that, that's why I say like I want to say that as a maybe like a more so you have an aim so, where you can so yeah time be factor. eight. But on the other hand, I really no. like it that yeah. it doesn't matter. You don't, there's no expectation of what time you arrive. Yeah, well, it's eight. So just... Ghanaian time. <laughs> yeah. Are you sure? It's like eight. Yeah. Not oh, eight exactly. is Ghanaian time. So, We're talking nine. Exactly. Yeah. Oh, so boy. actually, so I want to say that's proven, but like. Now, when yeah. I said out loud, I was like, no, it's actually really nice. Mm. I like the flexibility yeah, and it doesn't matter. It's good for us to de decelerate, you know? Yeah. Like, it's, you know, yeah, yeah, just no to live rush. when the yeah. time Inter comes. Interestingly, you comparatively it, here, yeah. when we say, you know what, PB, Prince, I'll meet you around eight. And he goes like, Ghana time or the Western time? <laughs> like, no, let's stick to the Ghana time. So that means nine. Uh. <laughs> but then again, it's interesting how you feel that's a bit flexible it works for you you yeah. know it's not too you know what it's eight o'clock wake up yeah. so it's just good to hear the other side of the story because one would say the white man doesn't joke with their time here is Eustace saying it's okay it's flexible I'm not saying it's a point that we need to hold on to however sometimes we need a certain level of flexibility yeah we're humans yeah we're not rigid exactly we can you know doesn't matter it's not like uh, you know, uh, your your day is ruined if you have an hour nice to yeah mm, do other mm, stuff. Mm, yeah. Mm. So that's why I started off in my mind, but no, I actually want to take that back. You want to take it back? I see that's a positive. Uh, yeah, yeah, I, I think but, we should implement it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Exactly. for sure. Yeah. Okay. Please, let's implement it. Yeah. Okay, uh, what would be that golden thing you change? Uh, yeah, I think just uh the poverty as well yeah we're gonna, yeah, ghana for sure is one of the most developed countries in western africa true for that sure. very true uh but still poverty still exists so, yeah um and that that's thing i think the, one of the things i'd like to change mm. also the difference between uh the poor and the, and the, the, the more wealthy people mm. uh i feel like there's a big gap, gap. a big difference mm -hmm. and, yeah, I, I feel like that. That's a very yeah, good, that could that's change. A very great observance. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm. Gradually, that can happen. Yeah. yeah. I mean, you're, you've you've already established a tie with Ghana. Uh, that's uh, Kwabena, right? Uh, Kwesi. Kwesi, Kwesi. Yeah. So yeah, Kwesi. Yeah, Sergei yes. Kwesi. The next moment is for you to establish what how we can do that as as a team. Yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah. Because it, it doesn't just take one man to make the change. Sure, yeah. You've seen it. And I believe it's a passion for you. Mm -hmm. So you're looking to see how you can effect that change. Exactly. And the future is definitely bright. Yeah. Stars not the sky is not the limit. Mm -hmm. You shift for the star, you miss, you go for the heavens. <laughs> so, <laughs> Saladin Youssef. Yeah. What would be it? Um. So I would say first off, mm -hmm. I think people should keep in mind that. Uh, Ghana, it's a very young country, right? It's maybe 70 years old, like compared... 64. 64 even, yeah. So mm. compared to, if you compare it to the Western countries... Mm. Zafer. Exactly. Mm. To say like, we have it like this, Ghana should be like this. Mm -hmm. If there's one thing I would change, it would be the public transport. Mm. So Ghana is... The trotro. Well, <laughs> not even the trotro. So like within the city, I think it's very practical, mm -hmm. but more outside of the city. So okay. when we're talking about Cape Coast, mm -hmm. Axim, mm -hmm. um it's, I think as a tourist, it might be difficult to go to those places because mm -hmm. you, you either have to like fix a cab. Some places have like the STC bus you can take. Mm -hmm. But for example, we wanted to go to uh, Tamale or Tamale Park, yeah. Tamale or Mole Park. Mm -hmm. Then it's either the STC bus for 12 hours or you have to take like a the plane flight. flight. Mm -hmm. Whereas if you would let, let, for example, like a high speed train or something, mm -hmm. I think that would be more uh, okay. beneficial for people. Also mm -hmm. even tourists, but also local people to move around, mm -hmm. see their families, mm -hmm. stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I would say like the public, Transport oh. outside of the big cities. Mm -hmm. yeah. Generally, transportation, absolutely. Mm -hmm. These are conversations that every successive government looks to tackle. But, you know, tenure ends and then someone comes in with their own. But then it's a larger conversation that I think the country as a whole nation should look into. But great suggestions. And I think when we put this video out, the government will go like, okay. <laughs> Sergey, Eustace, <laughs> Faye, I'm a Faye. Mm -hmm. Saladin, Yusef, I like the they said it picture. all. <laughs> yeah. Well, thank you very much. Thank, thank you, you so much. And um, before you go, I believe you have to do um, an Africa Global Radio jingle. Uh, so yeah. I um, 
Yusuf Saladin. Keep listening to Africa Global Radio, our story, our growth, our future. Uh, yeah, that's just the shows of it, okay? It's going to happen. My technical guy, sound guy, is going to make that happen. <laughs> but thank you so much. Thanks for having It's us. a pleasure. It's an honor. But I'm telling you, we're going to drive all the way to the Netherlands. Yes. That's good. It's going to happen. It's going to happen. We'll be ready. Nice. Okay. Yeah. So let's go have a feel of uh, Terminator. Terminator is very necessary, and and, and Sergey has to dance. Uh, Sergey has to yeah, dance. Yeah, he's a dancer. Oh, he's a dancer. He can do it. So Sergey is gonna dance the Terminator right about now. Thank you very much for listening. And that's just about it. <laughs>